So I'm feeling some restriction because when I took, took her head all the way to the right, it's a little tight. When I take her head all the way to the left, it's easy. So I'm gonna bring the head over a little bit, over a little bit, got it. Let's recheck and bring the head around. Nice range of motion. Okay, so I got that. So we have Spetzel here today, and the owner's name is Julia. Julia's a client of mine, but we wanted to do a little tune-up on Spetzel with the chiropractic, uh, full body chiropractic analysis and uh, adjustment if necessary. And Spetzel is, actually just had a birthday two days ago, right? Right. So Spetzel is eight years old now, um, golden doodle. And leave happy birthday in the comments if you don't mind, because Spetzel is gonna be reading every comment. And um, one of the first things I like to do is I want to check the atlas. So I'm checking the space between the top cervical bone and they form like little wings. And we call this the wings of atlas. And this is the canal that the spinal cord goes in. So what happens, actually it should go this way. What happens is the uh, this can be torqued, and when it does, it creates a lot of pressure on the top of the spine. Now let's look at a horse atlas. And these are plastic, by the way. Look how big the spinal canal is for the horse. And these are the wings. So when I get up here, I'm looking to get my finger in this little spot, and I'll pull it this way, where I can flip it or flip it, and I adjust. So dogs, they're smaller. This would be a small dog. His, his would be bigger than this. Hers. I mean hers. Excuse me, I'm doing some gender stuff here, sorry. So I feel a lot of tightness on the right atlas. So I'm gonna adjust that first. You're gonna see, I'm just gonna take it and pull. Good. Now I recheck the space, the space is even. So now let's take the face up and down. And let's go for check for lateral motion. And even though dogs are prey animals, they still need a lot of lateral motion. Predators like horses, I mean, uh, dogs are predators, excuse me. Prey animals like horses need that 360 degree rotation so they can always look out for their safety and their lives. Always looking out for the lion, right? And the predators still need that great range of motion too. So I'm feeling some restriction because when I took, took her head all the way to the right, it's a little tight. When I take her head all the way to the left, it's easy. And the muscles feel loose on that side. So there, I'm missing a lower cervical on the right, and I have to find it. Should I take that out? No, nope, it's not in the way. Right. And I think I already found it. It's here at C4. So I'm going to bring the head over a little bit, over a little bit, over a little bit. Got it. Let's recheck and bring the head around. Nice range of motion. Okay, so I got that. Nice. Let's see if there's anything else. So I'm gonna come down the back now. Let me switch sides. So I'm better with my right hand for some reason. So I often follow the dog. If the dog wants to stand, then I just let the dog stand. But this dog really wants to be on its belly right now. And I'm coming down the thoracics and Dogs have 13 thoracics and seven lumbars. Humans have 12 thoracics and five lumbars. And I got one right here. Let me count which one that is. So that's L6. A little more, got it. See, it doesn't hurt them. They're not gonna make loud clicks like and pops and cracks like humans. Now in between, the uh, tuber sacralis, I'm at the sacral base, and this feels a little high here, so I'm also gonna adjust this. Got it. Checking the muscles, checking the sacrum as I come down towards the tail, checking the mobility of the tail, taking a 
left. Whoop. I might have touched this tender spot. So let's get him. Let's get her back up here. Let's have her turn around if we can. Okay. And I might have you hold her head just for a second. So I'm just going to check the tail really quick. So that's left, right. I think I got a little sacral apex left, so got it. And that feels a lot better. I'm going down the left front leg, bringing the leg up in the air, bringing the leg forward, checking uh, all the joints. Good. Let's check the other leg. But this dog doesn't has a normal gait. It's not limping, so we're not really concerned that we're going to find something. Ooh, just cracked. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Not anything grossly misaligned. A little on the shoulder here, so I'm going to pop it back up and in. All right, I think we're done. So one of the things we're going to do is when Special gets down to the ground, we're going to see if she shakes out. We call that a recess. So let's see if that happens. Bring her down. Give her a second. Just let her walk around for a minute. There it goes. And that's always good to see. That's it. Happy birthday, Spets.